being able to manifest, being able to be attract into our lives what it is that we'd like to attract into our lives, boils down to a formula that I'd like to share with you here this evening. And this formula is one that everyone that I know who is able to get things into their life practices this. I call it the four reallys. All right? So that what you really, 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 really want, you will get. And these four really stand, each of them stands for something. And if you look at people who are good at, some people call them lucky, some people call them highly spiritual, whatever it might be, but they are good at getting what they want in their lives. And here are the four reallys. The first one says, I wish. So what you really wish for, everything that you'd like to get into your life starts with a wish. It's a thought. I wish I could get that job. I wish I could get that promotion. I wish I could lose weight. I wish I could get rid of that addiction that I have. I wish I could, whatever, it's a wish. So what you have to start with a wish. The second really stands for what you desire. What you really wish and desire. And the difference between what you wish for and desire is in what I call asking. Ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. It's not empty words. Be willing to ask. When I get stuck sometimes writing and I'm just not quite sure where to go or whatever, I just leave the typewriter or I leave the yellow pad that I'm writing on. I walk over to the couch and I get into a meditation and I say, I would like some help in having this become clearer as to how to express it. And it's always there. Sometimes the phone will ring and my wife will call and she'll say, did you know that this was in the mail? And I said, read it to me, and it'll be exactly what I needed. Sometimes it just comes in the, mo in the, the thing that I call an intuition or an insight, whatever it might be. The third really stands for what I intend. So now you shift away from what I wish for and ask for, and you frame it in such a way that you intend to create it. I intend to create this, whatever it might be, whether it's a healing, whether it's a, a losing of weight, whether it's getting rid of an, an addiction, whether it's creating prosperity, I intend to create it. And if you notice people who are good at manifesting, they don't mince those kinds of words. I will do it. And someone will say, well, what if it doesn't work out? You say, well, then I'll just learn whatever I have to learn from it not working out. But I intend to create this in my life. There's an intention, and the intention is so powerful that you become independent of the good opinion of other people. You're not checking it out with the tribe. You're not checking it out with what everybody else out there said you should do or shouldn't do. You're saying to yourself, I intend to create it. And I often tell people, don't tell anybody else about what you want to manifest. Don't make it a big statement. Instead, keep it to yourself. And they say, why do you want to say that? I say, because the minute that you do, you invoke ego. And in quantum physics, there's a simple line that says, particles themselves are not responsible for their own creation. Another way of saying that is the way St. Paul said it. That which is seen, he said, hath not come from that which doth appear. That is the source of everything over here. It's not over here. It's in this invisibleness. And once you invoke ego, you have to defend it, you have to explain it, you have to get the tribe involved in it, and before long, you've lost the capacity to manifest. It's a spiritual journey. Inspiration, in spirit, when you're inspired, in spirit. The fourth really stands for passion, passion. That is, I am absolutely passionate about it and I intend to create it with that love. One of the great books that one of my teachers sent to me from ancient India, written like 3,000 years ago, has a line in it that says, to attempt to manifest what you want without passion is like dressing up a corpse. So you take this corpse and you put a tuxedo on it and you dress it all up and you put all the makeup on it and you take it out into the world and you say, now see what you can get for me. But it, basically it's dead inside. And if it's dead inside, that is if it lacks passion, if you lack passion, you're not going to be able to attract it into your life. So what you wish for, ask for, intend to create, and have passion about, you'll get. You'll get it. 